A recurring financial problem at the Guam Memorial Hospital, the lingering issue had GMH trustee Dr. Ricardo Terlahi laying down the question, who decides how the hospital spends its cash? And that's what I'm saying, you should be struggling that day to get the total plus to retirement. The three we million was it. the goal. No, because you make the 2.2 million, you say we made it. No. You didn't make it. We go to the insurance companies and we push them. I know, but you know where you need to get it from? The government. That's how are you going to get from the government? You, you have to ask them for it. We have been asking that, but that's why we go to the legislature. You ask them every payroll to pay the, re to you, the you retirement? The concern is over the struggle to pay employee retirement contributions at the hospital while being able to make payroll. The retirement fund has threatened legal action for non-payment multiple times. And that's the reason why we've been going to the legislature to ask for additional funding. We're asking for, for dedicated Okay, I understand funding. that. Hospital CFO Benita McGlotnia says she works alongside supervisors in accounting, pharmacy, and procurement to figure out the critical needs in order to get by. But, but they can only give what's appropriated. They can't give you more than what was appropriated, and that's the reason we, we went with when we for the legislature. If you want to take that responsibility, go ahead, continue to do it. But every time it comes down to this, people are going to say, like, how come you didn't pay that? 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 And that's well, a reason. Should we pass that right? responsibility back up to the board then? Is no, that what you're asking? I'm not asking yeah, for I mean, that. I just no, want to know who did it. I want to know who did it. Exactly. So I know who's doing it. it. She's the CEO. But what is, she sees all the money that so, comes so in. So what, what is your so, suggestion, Doc? How are we going to pay yeah, this no, thing? No, it's not a suggestion. So, it's so a, we it's can, my, my asking is for this one reason at all. For, it's, by the way, so the board we, we can just stop You can paying. get sued right and left for all okay. these things, I mean, right? You can, can sued right and we left. Can do is we but just but didn't make the decision so not, not to do it, right? right? Medical Director Dr. Vincent Duenius and Hospital Administrator Peter John Camacho also chimed in. You are questioning the team that is trying to allocate where the most important, uh, where we can pay. Right. And if you're questioning that, then you want to micromanage and say no, something. No, 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 just like you want to micromanage. Okay. I don't think I questioned. I, I said I wanted to know where it came okay. from, and I did. I did find out. So please give, 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 give us, us questioning. Okay. Give, give us guidance. Okay, you misinterpreted. No criticism there at all. But I want, I want guidance from the board. Tensions high, but Dr. Shalahi says he was only trying to find a solution to get rid of the hospital's debt.